Hi there, it's time for a bedtime Bible story. Thanks for joining me. It is so much fun learning about God with a friend. All right, today's story is about the desire of Hannah's heart. And you can follow along in the book of 1 Samuel chapters 1 and 2. Now there's some strange names to pronounce in here, so bear with me. A man named Elkanah had two wives. Penaniah had children. Hannah didn't. Every year, Elkanah and his wives went to Shiloh to worship God. One year, Hannah arose after they had finished eating and drinking in Shiloh. Now, the, Eli, the priest, was sitting by the doorpost of the tabernacle, and she prayed to the Lord and wept in anguish. Then she made a vow and said, O oh, Lord of hosts, if you give me a male child, then I will give him to the Lord all the days of his life. As she continued praying, Eli watched her mouth. Eli said to her, go in peace, and the God of Israel grant your petition, which you have asked of him. The Lord remembered her. Hannah conceived and bore a son and called his name Samuel. Now when Hannah had weaned Samuel, she took him to the house of the Lord in Shiloh. And she said to Eli the priest, for this child I prayed. And the Lord granted my petition. Therefore, as long as he lives, he shall be lent to the Lord. This is a picture of the tabernacle. And here Hannah is with her son that she prayed for. God is good. God answers prayers, guys. All right. How can this story apply to our life? Uh, how do you respond to troubles? Hannah shows us what we should do before anything else. Turn to God in prayer. James 5.13 Prayer helps us remember we can't solve all of our problems on our own. Prayer is a way for us to show that we believe in God's power and his love. We aren't trying to trick God into doing what we want. We are looking to him to bless us and help us according to his perfect plan for us. When troubles come, may prayer be the first thing you do. Well, let's pray. God, thank you for always having a listening ear and always wanting us to come to you. Help us to remember to ask you to help us when we're having trouble but help us to praise you and thank you for the answered prayer that you give us and for the love that you give us daily and for all the ways you provide for us with parents who love us, grandparents, food, shelter. We love you so much and we thank you and we ask you to um, forgive us for the wrong things that we do and help us to live the way you want us to, making good choices and loving others. In Jesus' name, amen. I love you all. God loves you so much more. Bye for now.